And the starting lineups have concluded. So just sit right back and relax. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA Basketball. Moments away, it'll be the Sacramento Kings going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves. Hello everyone, with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey Dave. Thank you Kevin. Therese Halliburton is accustomed to winning. He says anyone that's been around me knows how much I want to win. The goal first and foremost is helping change this culture for the better. I'm here for a reason, to make an impact. To go in the right direction, I've got to be a vocal leader and just have fun playing basketball. Kevin? Well, D.A., clearly he wants to make his mark. Thanks for that report. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Tristan Thompson. We've seen him regress as a rebounder these past few seasons. His numbers have come down in that department, and I'd like to see him concentrate on bringing them back up. I'm sure the team would as well. You can never have enough rebounding. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. The four and the five, it's McDaniels and Towns. And it's Beasley in at the small forward position. And for Sacramento, in the backcourt, it's Fox and Heel. The front court will be Barnes along with Bagley. And it's Thompson in at the five spot. And when you look at the regular season, Chris, was there a part that was more difficult? Uh, the start, uh, the middle, the end, where? Yeah, Kevin, the physical toll, I think around all-star break. That's when it gets the hardest, though. But you get a little bit of space after, you get refreshed, and then you're ready for the home stretch. But not just the jump shooter. Russell was also very capable of getting it done. So. Thompson sets the pick for Fox. Over Russell. Fox, no good. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Last time they met was in Minnesota. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really get them in. Just way too many mistakes. Well, how often do we hear it? You know, you've got to take care of the basketball. I mean, they've got to be much more disciplined tonight. Russell with a wide open look. And a miss there on the triple. First quarter of play, one minute played. against Beasley. Healed outside. From deep three-point range. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. Well, this is Healed's specialty. I mean, he's out there to shoot and shoot often from downtown. Russell passes to Towns. Edwards kicks to McDaniel. Back to Edwards. Ball's knocked loose. Four on the clock. Here's Russell. He's off on that one. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. When you know the ball movement was lacking. And you know things got stagnant. That's why their offense looked so off. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Russell passes to Towns. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Russell finds Towns. Back to Russell. Good, and the assist goes to Town. Russell's got five points so far. Russell plays with an impressive attitude. The catch and shoot jump shot is right in line with his mentality on offense. And in Towns, not known for his rim protection, but he's improved in that area recently, challenging and changing more shots. Now, here is Russell. Following the shot by Tristan Thompson. And the slam dunk by Russell. I love the spatial awareness from Russell. 
saw how much room he had and just took it aggressively. And with Towns, Greg, you knew he had the potential for rim defense, and it became a focus for him. Yeah, and, and a lot of defense is putting in the effort. Credit Towns for improving in that area. And we'll see if he can take another step defensively. Now, here is Russell. In the game against Detroit, very impressive. Edwards kicks to McDaniel. Out to Russell. Shoots over Fox. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The Kings trail by six. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Bagley with a screen on Russell. Outside, Bagley. Again, the miss by the King. And Beasley has the ball here for the Timberwolves. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenge shots and it really protected the rim. They certainly made their presence felt on the defense. They were active and rejected a number of shots. Now, here's Bagley. Anthony Edwards unable to get his last shot to go in. Beasley outside. Russell feeling it out a bit. He drains it from the right block. Russell. Russell's got 11. And Russell takes scoring very seriously. He does this in all kinds of different ways. With the timeout. switch here. Holmes checked in. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You take a look at the Kings. They're 10th in the conference still looking to claim a spot for the playoffs. Of course, there's the Timberwolves. Six games out. Fox against Russell. Healed outside. Trying to get something going. And he lays it up and in. Healed's got his second basket of the night. He's getting better at orchestrating the offense. I mean, when Fox hits the open man, brings this team closer together. McDaniels dishes to Russell. 11 feet away. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Kings trail by six. Barnes with it. He's picked up by Russell. Now, here's McDaniel, defended by Bagley. Russell finds Towns, out to Russell. Here's Edwards. His three-pointers off the mark. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Barnes can't get it to go. Timberwolves leading by six. Outside, Russell. Towns, a screen on heel. Russell, no good. 
Sacramento's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Towns against Teal. Pass to Holmes. Edwards with it. Now guarded by Fox. Here's McDaniels. Bagley with the rebound. Barnes outside. Trains the three-pointer. Uh, I've always respected Barnes' ability to hit from downtown. So important for wing players Time in today's NBA. Minnesota. Which section wants a free T-shirt? here Go for Sacramento. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Towns. Vanderbilt comes in for McDaniels. Prince is checked in for Edwards. And it's Patrick Beverly in for D'Angelo Russell. Timberwolves leading by three. Passes it to Reed. Back to Beverly. Jacks up a three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And what confidence from Beverly squaring himself up as the pass was coming his way. So he was ready to fire. Mitchell outside. Back to Halliburton. Now the pass to Medu. On the wing, Davis. Six on the shot clock. Halliburton for three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Now here's Prince. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Reed finds Beasley. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by the Kings. Here is Davis. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pass to Mitchell. Glenn sends a screen for Mitchell. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Beverly looking around. Timberwolves passing it around. Beasley the best to read. Over Len. That one off the back iron and out. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a loss of concentration that time. Kicks to Mitchell. Pass to Medu. No good. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. Prince outside. 
passes it to Reed. And Davion Mitchell gets the whistle that time. That's his first. That's his first foul. First his shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. One twenty-two left here in the first quarter. Beasley finds Reed. Shoots over Len. Reed misses. The Kings trail by three. Mitchell passes to Halliburton. Vanderbilt with the block. Here's Medu. No points in the game yet for him. Five to shoot. Now Beverly. Prince outside. Beasley against Davis. Now here's Beverly. He's tightly guarded. From deep, Prince. Sacramento grabs the miss. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Mitchell passes to Medu. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Beverly against Mitchell. Now here's Beverly. And the pass to Reed. Shoots over Len. And he can't bank that one in. D'Angelo Russell getting it done for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back right after this. as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. They deserve a lot of credit for the defense they've played in the paint here early. Contesting shots, blocking shots, just making life difficult on the opposing shooters in general. And the intensity has carried over into their ability to get out in passing lanes and really be disruptive in terms of their opponent's offense. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. The four and the five. It's McDaniels in town. D'Angelo Russell out there with Patrick Beverly. And it's Edwards in at the three. Now here's Edwards. Following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Here's Russell. Pass to McDaniels. The three. The rebound by Halliburton. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Bagley kicks to Barnes. After Bagley. Pass to Fox. Steps back and fires. And it's Russell with the rebound. Minnesota in the lead. I really enjoyed watching De'Aaron Fox blossom into a leader over the first few seasons in the league. All that comes to pass. He has emerged as a star player. And he's become more and more assertive as a teammate. That's, that's when it got obvious that he's a player you can build a franchise. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Kings currently have the league's longest playoff drought. De'Aaron Fox was eight years old the last time they made the postseason. And he says this is the most passionate fan base. So let's be special and dig out of this hole. As competitors, we want to win right now, but we know that we're building something. Kevin? Well, they've got the right attitude yeah, so and close to a breakthrough, many people Jamie think. McDaniels. David, thanks. Hey, That's Chris, one change we're seeing now. A lot less post-up scoring. Uh, do you miss it? I, I do miss it. I mean, if you're seven foot, you should be close to the basket at times if you have game. I mean, 
got to win. But I love to see how players uh, do it effectively uh, inside and outside. Like, think about Embiid. Think about Jokic. I mean, and on the whole, I love the way that the game is evolved. And, and, and I really miss the post up because you have to have complete game. And I think we're rewarding skill and complete game now. So I think it's going to come back. And he knocks down the first one. Heald's checked in for Halliburton. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Timberwolves trail by three. Beverly wide open. Trills the three-pointer. Beverly's got six. And Beverly has wonderful moves and has a great stroke from downtown. Gotta love how he rises up with plenty of confidence. Heal the pass to Holmes. He dishes it to Barnes. Over Edwards. Again, the miss by the Kings. Minnesota's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Beverly dishes to Russell. The tray. Barnes grabs the miss. Barnes has got five rebounds tonight. Outside, Fox. He kicks to heel. Red ball movement here by the Kings. From 11 feet away, Sacramento again missing. Edwards passes to McDaniels. That one also a miss for him. Just like the other three attempts this game. Edwards against Teal. And here is Holmes. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. No one near Edwards as he lets it fly. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Edwards got his second bucket of the night. Man, the decision making of Russell, dependable at finding his teammates in their recovery. Fox finds Heal. Hagley with a screen on Beverly. Here's Heal. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Edwards, that's good. And how about the quick eyes there from Towns? Finds a hole in the defense and exploits it there with a nice find. against Russell. Pass to Heald. The kick out to Barnes. Hagley the screen. To end the run. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Towns sets the pick for Russell. The shot misses. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Heald kicks to Fox. Back to Heald. Holmes with a screen on Beverly. Here's Heald. And the rejection by Town. Rejected by Town. I mean, he's become a great goal shot. And some changes here for the Kings. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Davis is subbed in for Barnes. And then for Minnesota, Reed comes in for McDaniels. And it's Prince in for Patrick Beverly. Minnesota leading by five. Russell with him. He's got 11. Kicks it out to Prince. The pass to Towns. And that one, good. And this is what you like to see. Big Cat using that size to his advantage. Sacramento's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land. Shooting 50% on the free ball here.
Mitchell, he's jumped in for the Kings. And here's a look at some numbers for De'Aaron Fox. And guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that feel back. against Evans. Outside, Fox. Mitchell outside. Again, the miss by the King. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. No, doing anything they can to stop the bleeding, but so far, they've had no answers. Now here's Towns. 14 points from him the last game against Detroit. Edwards can't hit. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his post. And, and Anthony Edwards, the top pick of 2020. Not the most polished player early on, but his ceiling is through the roof. Here's Russell after the basket by Davion Mitchell. Here's Towns. Thompson with the rebound. Man, when the ball's in his hands, that's as high percentage as he can. It's just a fluke. Bagley with the bucket. So many top picks come in ready to play, Greg. Edwards are part of a class that needed more time, though. Yeah, the talent is clearly there. And don't forget the pandemic cutting the college careers of many of the 2020 draftees short. Edwards, though, has all the tools to be an incredible wing player. Here's Towns. Marvin Bagley picking up that last basket. Shot clock at five. Towns sets the pick for Russell. Towns dishes to Prince. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first wow, personal Wow, he got whacked. First on that one. shouldn't be much debate there. The Timberwolves shoot their first free throws of the game right now. Torian Prince, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Sacramento making some changes. Alex Lenz checked in for Tristan Thompson. Matu comes in for Marvin Bagley. And Halliburton subbed in for Fox. Vanderbilt's checked in for Minnesota. Malik Beasley comes in for Edwards. Both free throws good for Prince. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fella. Mitchell against Russell. Out that one in, and the Timberwolves lead is cut to just three points on the basket for Mitchell. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Now, here is Russell. He's got 11. Beasley, the pass to Prince. To the paint. Beasley inside. He's guarded by Davis. No good from Beasley. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now, here's Mitchell. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Oklahoma City. And he caused major problems with his defense as well. He had four steals by the time the game was over. Now, here is Russell. Following the miss by Tyrese Halliburton. Reed finds Beasley. And here's Prince outside. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Well, that's almost a sure thing when you leave him that wide open on the perimeter. I mean, that's his sweet spot. Two minutes remaining. Mitchell looking it over. Two minutes. There's 154 left in the first half of basketball. And the Timberwolves with possession. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Davis against Prince. Vicious to Russell. 
back to Prince. The three ball. The rebound by Medu. The Kings trail by six. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Len with a screen on Russell. Mitchell kicks to Davis. One eleven left to play in the first half. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Sacramento making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. Halliburton against Beasley. Down to five on the shot clock. Halliburton drives in. Reed with the block. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Six-point game. Sacramento's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Feeds it to land. Over Russell. Lang shot is off. Timberwolves leading by six. Pass to Russell. Beasley against Halliburton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first Alex Lang picks one up. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. But Timberwolves have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for three. Taking two shots. Free throw drops in for Beasley. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for D'Angelo Russell. And both free throws, good for Beasley. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Mitchell against Beverly. Mitchell outside. Land with a screen on Beverly. Here's Mitchell. Reed with the block. And so it's Minnesota in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going it forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. You had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And welcome to halftime. With the all-star festivities around the corner, here are the favorites to take part in the dunk contest. And Shaq, I have to ask you, why were you never in a dunk contest? I know why. Why, Kimmy, why? They would have needed an extra stance, and, you know, because he would have been pulling the baskets down. See, you thought I was going to be mean. Yeah, I did. I really did. Thank you for your compliment. Now let's talk about this matchup. So far, a good start for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They played smart. They took their time and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually will get the shot you want. But when you lose the ball, you have no control over the destiny. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. First 
and happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at D'Angelo Russell, what a contribution. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Filling out the wing spots, it'll be Heald and Barnes. Tristan Thompson is out there with Marvin Bagley. And it's Fox in at the one. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Now, here is Russell. Following the miss shot by De'Aaron Fox. Outside, Towns. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got three assists tonight. And that's why Cat went first overall. This dude is 6'11 with perimeter skills, a sweet shot, and unstoppable when he's on. Now, here's Fox. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And finish off by Bagley. Excellent finish on those lob passes. If Bagley can get his hands to it, he will throw it down. You know, Greg, thinking about De'Aaron Fox and what's next for him, we know how much he wants to get to the playoffs and contend. Yeah, I mean, Fox doesn't just want to have impressive regular seasons. This guy, his goal is to get his squad to the postseason. And not only that, he wants a chance to win titles. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while. But he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. He throw good, Russell. Well, you have to credit Russell for taking stock of his career, fixing some of the early issues, and now playing at an all-star level. Russell against Fox. Over Russell. Doesn't go that time. And Minnesota now the other way. Towns, the pass to Russell. Back to Towns. Kicks it out to Beasley. Offline with his three. The Kings trail by 12. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Fox against Russell. Shot clock at six. Low block shot on the way. And the rejection by Towns. Oh, man. Still a goose egg for him in the scoring column. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like it. And he knows it. the best thing they could do is try to get him more easy looks. Here is Russell. Harrison Barnes picking up that last basket. Towns down low. It's up against Thompson. Towns a screen on Fox. Here's Russell. Offensive rebound. Towns no luck. Nothing less than that kind of defense will cut it against him. That's just great work inside. Healed outside. Back to Fox. And the lead is down inside single digits. Fox has got his first basket of the night. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Here's Towns. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got four assists in the game. And we think of Russell first as a scorer, but there, reminding everyone of his passing ability, too. It's tipped. And here we go. Fast break. Towns has got it. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Good evening, Kevin. Now, the NBA does get high marks for its diversity, but there is some frustration on that front when you look at head coaches and front office positions. All-star Carl Anthony Towns said, men of color deserve a chance to lead a team, run an organization, and make their mark, not just with a jersey on, but with a suit on. Guys? Thank you, David. Now, here's Fox. After D'Angelo Russell's miss, that one drops for him. He's 
taking what he sees out there. I love seeing Fox torch the deep from this area. Bounce pass, Russell. Towns a screen on Barnes. Edwards drives in. And the layup's good off the glass. Edwards got nine. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. The loudest and craziest get a free t shirt. Come on, let's see it. All right, look who's coming out onto the court. Come on, get loud for your 916 crew. Checked in for Tristan Thompson. Taking a look now at some numbers for these. He's been a factor for them over the last month. He's putting up about 17 points, four rebounds, and two assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, GA, I like it because he's not overcomplicating things. I mean, he's just playing to his strengths and taking what the defense gives him. Russell against Fox. Bagley with a wide open look. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Bagley's got 12 points in the game. Well, he's a coordinated big man with a diverse offensive skill set. Bagley can beat defenders in a number of different ways. A drive by Russell. And that one is good. 16 points for D'Angelo Russell. He's having a great night from the floor. They're going to keep leaning on him, looking to grow the lead. Fox against Russell. And with that shot, the Minnesota Leafs cut to just seven points in the basket from Fox. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Russell passes to Towns. Top of the key, McDaniels. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first. Yeah, easy call. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Timberwolves? Shooting for All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. But also, they put the offense on its heel. Look at the number of steals they've been able to get. And that's something they also can take great pride in. No good on that Burton's checked in for Sacramento. Mitchell comes in for De'Aaron Fox. Minnesota also making some changes. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Vanderbilt comes in for Malik Beasley. And it's Patrick Beverly in for D'Angelo Russell. That's off as well. So he misses both. The Kings trail by seven. Everly with the ball. Now guarded by Heald. Beverly against Heald. Pass to Vanderbilt. It's stolen by Bagley. He 
field outside. It's deflected. Now, here's McDaniels. Covered by Mitchell. And Beverly kicks to McDaniels. To the left wing. Five on the clock. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. Reed misses. Uh, come on. You, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. Healed the pass to Bagley. It's stolen by Edwards. To the middle. Reed finds Beverly. Back to Reed. McDaniels passes to Reed. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And the Timberwolves lead by nine. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easy it makes it for him to get to the cup. Here's Mitchell. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Kicks it to Bagley. On the wing, heel. Yeah, and Jared so Vanderbilt fun. gets the whistle that Jared time. Vanderbilt. That's his first, his first five. Personal and some changes here for first the Kings. Alex Len comes in for a shot hole. And Metu subbed in for Marvin Bagley. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Prince has checked in. Mitchell. Five to shoot. Len with a screen on Beverly. Here's Mitchell. Here's Len. And the dunk by Len. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Edwards with it. Out guarded by Heald. Kicks it out to Prince. The open shot, Edwards. Gets a very good look and converts. Edwards got four points in the quarter. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Now Mitchell. Three-pointer heel. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got four rebounds now tonight. And Davion Mitchell gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Man, that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Here's Reed. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Beverly dishes to Edwards. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Prince in the corner. Just five on the clock. Buries it from three-point range. Three Prince points. has got the lead up to 12 now for the Timberwolves. Sacramento's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Mitchell kicks to Halliburton. Back to Mitchell. Three-pointer. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Well, until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get any small. Beverly up top, covered by Mitchell. Reed finds Edwards. Over Halliburton. And the shot falls short this time. And here's Field. He'll bring it up for Sacramento. Down by 12. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Halliburton. Great tee that time from Edwards. For Minnesota, they've gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Jerry and showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Mitchell against Beverly. On the wing, heel. The pass to Len. Back to Heald. Looking to end the run. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Heald's got his third bucket of the night. My buddy. He 
can't give Hill these mid-range chains. I mean, often he's going to bury them and make you look foolish. There's the pick. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Bounce pass from Beverly. Here's Reed. The rebound by Nadu. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. Oh, that's just a great defensive the effort there by the Beverly. Score. He is all awesome. And so it's Four Minnesota teams. up by a There's dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And we'll be right back after this. Luke Walton had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. We gave them a big lead so we don't have that luxury anymore. We need stops and we can't turn the ball over. And we're going to be back in there. And we're going to go take this. We're going to go take this game. Well, Greg, he's trying to inspire confidence. I mean, they are in a hole right now, but he does know this team has what it takes to make a comeback. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, the four and the five, it's McDaniels in town. Patrick Beverly out there with Russell, and it's Beasley in at the three. And in the first half, it was a struggle offensively, shooting a very low percentage, but it hasn't prevented them from grabbing the lead, and, and now they're shooting it much better here in the second. Now, here's Fox, and the rejection by Towns. There's the lob to Towns. Oh, that's blocked. The concentration from Barnes on defense. He knows exactly when to attack the shot. Driving the lane. And it's Beverly missing. The Kings trail by 14. Barnes outside. Here's Bagley. Count it from 12. With the multifaceted offensive skill set, Bagley's more than comfortable in the mid-range. Russell against Talibert. Pass to Towns. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to go on Rashawn Holmes. Yeah, the defender all over. At the line for the Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns. Two shots. Two, two. The first one falls for. It's so obvious that Towns wants to learn and grow as a player. He's already an impressive force on the floor, but he's always looking for those little ways to up his level. He's off on the second. Yeah, Kevin, when it comes to Marvin Bagley, the number two pick in the 2018 draft, I mean, he was selected ahead of Luka Doncic. He was picked third. Now here's Beasley. Following the miss by Tyrese Halliburt. King's foul. No question. He got blocked on that shot. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Timberwolves. Malik Beasley taking two shots. Makes the first. And Beasley drops both of them. The Kings trail by 15. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Fox. Doesn't get it to drop for him. 
And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. And I really think it's important Bagley focuses on his strengths. He shouldn't concentrate on matching Doncic's production. Yeah, Bagley's a different type of player. I mean, he's a double-double threat with impressive athleticism. He just needs to find a way to stay healthy. Russell from long range. Rebounded by Holmes. Holmes got his fourth rebound in this one. Halliburton passes to Fox. Al Bagley. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Sacramento. Fox against Beverly. Puts it up from 12. Again, the miss by the King. Timberwolves leading by 15. Here's Russell. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Bagley's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Now, here is Russell. Top of the key, McDaniel. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Kings have gone just one or six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. And the rejection by Towns. I mean, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. Out. Good on the triple. Anthony Towns. Towns has got four points now in the quarter. Just phenomenal awareness by Beverly. Just dishing the ball to the wide open man. He's... Now a timeout called by Sacramento. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether. But, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. Fans, your 9-1-6 crew. And there's the foul. It's on Towns. Carl Anthony. That's his first foul. That's Great play first most of your career foul. in the 90s. The game has really foul. changed. Less physical, more skilled. But what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game. 
and growth. Now, here's McDaniel following the missed shot by Deere and Fox. The fadeaway, and Towns the bucket on the assist by Beasley. Towns has got 11 in the second half. Fox passes to Begley. Fox looking it over. And the rejection by Towns. Russell, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Russell passes to Towns. Misses from close range. The Kings trail by 20. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground Minnesota to a standstill. And there's the call on Patrick That's Beverly. His personal foul. That's his first foul. And now only one now away from being in the Timberwolves. Penalty. Minnesota making a switch. Edwards. Edwards has checked in. Out to the right wing. Bagley finds Fox. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Just five to shoot. Inside. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Russell. And here we go. Here's McDaniels. Good and the assist goes to Russell. McDaniels got his first points in this one. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now the feed to Bagley. To stop the drought. Out of bounds. King's ball as Sacramento keeps possession. King's ball. The King's making a switch here. Heels checked in. Buddy Heel. Bagley sets a screen for Heel to the inside with the fadeaway. Here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. Look, Thompson's getting after it. A highly skilled offensive rebounder crashes with power. Here's Russell. Makes it off the glass. 20 points for D'Angelo Russell. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Pass to heel. Yeah, we talked about this before, Chris, but great to see you inducted at long last into the Naismith Hall of Fame. It is so well-deserved, and all of us are thrilled for you and your family. Oh, thank you, Kevin. It, it means a lot. Uh, shout out to my parents, my family, and all my teammates. Uh, it's a special feeling. You never dream of making it to the Hall of Fame, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's a surreal feeling right now. Thanks, man. Al Russell. Harrison Barnes missing on the three. Four on the shot clock. Towns sets the pick for Beasley. Over Fox. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. Now he hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. It's a good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Now, here's Fox. Looking to end his cold spell. Unable to get that one. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. Back to Heald. Passes it to Begley. Launches it, and he's good on the three ball. Begley's got five points now this quarter. They're going to have to pay closer attention to him beyond the arc. I mean, he's got two threes in this half, a total of three overall. Fans, your 9-1-6 crew.
our New Balance player of the game, Carl Anthony Town. And when he's been on the floor, it has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Timberwolves leading by 19. I'm over right here. Outside, Russell. Towns a screen on Fox. Not going to go that time. Good D by Thompson. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. On the wing, heel. That three off the mark. Minnesota's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Fox against Russell. The 15-footer. And that one is off. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Healed against Edwards. Heald dishes to Fox. Bagley trying to free himself up. The kick out to Barnes. Healed against Edwards. Lock at six. Healed the pass to Fox. Tries again. Beasley with the rebound. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass first mentality at this point. The pass to McDaniels. The dish to Russell. Out to the right wing. Beyond the arc. The shot by McDaniels. No good. The Kings trailed by 19. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Timberwolves. Look at their number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations. And, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And so they're able to even up the season Malik series Beasley. at a game apiece. Four, three. With one left to play, exacting a little revenge and really saving face. They did not want to go down 2-0. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, he was a scary man at the defensive end with all those blocks. Even the shots he didn't get a hand on, he affected. He forced a lot of misses out there tonight. Now the Timberwolves with it. Now here's Edwards. So it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. That's to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home. They can just at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.